my brothers and sisters in Christ, if you are a Christian, a born-again believer, you are going to suffer some afflictions on this side. That's just part of being a child of the living God. You are living in a foreign land. You are living uh, in a place that God has not designed for you and I to really live in. Because we know that the world uh, from the garden was cursed by God himself because of the sin of Adam. Now you and I are living in that kind of environment, a cursed environment. So dearly beloved, there will be some afflictions that will take place. And especially since you are now a born again believer. Look what the word of God says in 1 Colossians 24th verse. It says, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you. Paul was talking about his very sufferings that he was going through and his afflictions due to the facts of his relationship with Christ and the Heavenly Father and also his relationship with the church, the body of believers. He says, for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh. So the afflictions of Christ on the cross brings afflictions even to the children of the living God. And Paul said, was saying, I am suffering afflictions now because of what I am doing in the earth. It is contrary to everything that the world believes. So it will be at loggerheads with the world. And if you are a born-again believer, dearly beloved, you are at loggerheads with the world. You cannot love the world and the world love you. And then you say, I'm doing a work for the Lord. It's impossible. Because you are diametrically opposed to the world because of where you are now in Christ. And that's what Paul was sharing uh, with the believers. He says, in my flesh for his body's sake. What body is he talking about? He's talking about the body of believers, the Christians. Paul saying, I am suffering because of my relationship with you. If I had no relationship with you, if I had no relationship with the Father, then guess what? I would not be suffering. I would be just like the world. But I'm suffering due to the fate that I have in the Father and the Son. And now I am sharing that with you. And so now I am suffering for you because of you. Amen. Uh, because of where the Father has placed me in the body of Christ. You know, there are those who will suffer more so than others will because of their relationship with the Heavenly Father and where God has placed them in the body of Christ. As for instance, the apostles. The Word of God speaks about how the apostles have suffered, how the apostles have been literally called the dung of the earth by the world because of their positions that they have been given by God. But dearly beloved, they have been given them because God knows that they were able and capable of carrying out that which He had planned for them. And that was the initial uh, foundation of the building of the church itself. Amen? So we are not going to suffer the sufferings that the apostles did, but we will suffer afflictions. Amen? As Paul says, uh, writes, of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. Amen? It is the church that he suffered for. Yes, he did not establish the church, he did not create the church, but he is suffering for the church. And dearly beloved, so will you and I suffer for the church's sake. Amen? For our brothers and our sisters in Christ. So dearly beloved, count it not strange 
when the world comes against us. Call it not strange when it seems like the world does not like us. It was never designed to like us now. But dearly beloved, one day we are living in a world that will be designed by the hand of God where there will be no evil in it whatsoever. Dearly beloved, that is the place that we are looking for. Amen and awaiting for. The Lord bless you and keep you this day.